Aries, welcome to my channel, Being You Now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing your mid-April money career finance reading. So this is for middle of April. Give or take two to three weeks. This reading should be good. Um, on the split, I've got seven of pentacles and high priestess. So um, paying attention to your intuition and being persistent. That's the opening message. Now, um, if you're new to my world, I do Aries readings daily. I also do one minute reads, which is in the short section of my channel. And there's always something fun and fabulous happening in the communities tab. So come say good day. So let's see, what is the energy for mid-April? Mid-April money, career and finances for my Aries. And I know how much my Aries, my community particularly loves the money career reads. So um, let me know in comments if you're new and you enjoy them or you have been watching these and you quite like them. So um, I stopped doing them for a while and um, when everyone was like, no, bring them back, I decided to do more of these for the collective. Okay, so let's see. What have we got in the middle of April? Three of Cups, really good energy. So Three of Cups in overall money, career, finance to me, this is celebrating new job, new business, um, money coming in, abundance and sharing your abundance with people that you care about that's the vibe i'm picking up here so real celebration vibes so congratulations if you're celebrating a brand new job a brand new business i mean doing the aries reads th this energy seems to be coming up quite a lot new career new business go watch your weekly reads um these there has been a bit of a theme coming through for the aries collective and um we are still in your season so you're going to be feeling more quite energized and bold and confident as well. So it says reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. The other thing I um, picked up with money, career, finance, if you're thinking of collaborating or working with other people, this next two to three weeks is going to be very beneficial and it will help you to grow your abundance, your income, your bank account. So sometimes I know that there is this um, view people have that, oh, but if I spend money, then that's money gone. You need to look at it from a perspective of investment, that when you invest in something, it grows. If you see it in an expense, then that's a different mindset. Eight of Cups. So definitely with these two cards, somebody is um, going walking away from a job or a career or a situation and into a new job. Um, or maybe you're starting your own business. You let me know as you see fit in comments. But to me, these two cards, you're leaving behind the old and you're walking towards the new and that's what you're celebrating. So um, yeah, let me know if you're looking for a new job or you found a new job. Congratulations, celebrating you and the Aries Collective. And uh, happy birthday if you're celebrating your birthday, Aries. Happy birthday to you. What are you doing on your special day? Wowza, this is like last few days before we come to a close of the Aries season. Very few days remaining and then we are no longer in Aries season. We move into Taurus. But you will feel this energy for a few days, um, you know, because of this. It's almost like this woomph, you know, of energy. Anyway, let me know. So we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles showing up, it's the first thing it said to me regarding particularly money watch your finances don't spread yourself too thin um, you can see he's right at the edge i don't normally always say this when i see this card but today i'm really getting this message that be mindful of your finances see where your money is going don't spread yourself too thin in the next two to three weeks um, because you don't want to feel the financial pinch afterwards so be mindful, maybe keep a budget. That might be really helpful. I don't know if um, that's something you and you do or you don't, you let me know. But, you know, twos with, with, with this, yeah. I just see somebody putting money, taking money from one account and putting it into another account. And I, I can also see someone looking at all these invoices and I just see this um, like, oh, I didn't expect that. So just be mindful of any unexpected bills as well. Um, you know, maybe there was something that you missed paying that might come through as well. It's very specific. It may be for one person. OK, this is a collective read. If you desire a personal read, it's the first link in the description box. Um, this is a collective read. Yeah, I mean, with these three cards, for sure, Aries, you are like with these three cards right here. You have completed a major cycle. Like some of you are definitely moving on from a job, a career, 
um, or, or a venture that no longer feels aligned to something that is more you. With, with the Eight of Cups and the World card, this is completion. And to me, you are with the Three of Cups, it's you celebrating something new. You're welcoming something new into your world. And um, for somebody here, I feel like, you know, maybe you, you are moving away from your nine to five and now being your own boss. So congratulations if that is you. For others of you, maybe you have been looking for work for a while and you finally are able to say goodbye and you're moving to a new chapter. So, I mean, job and business wise, it's looking really, really good um, with the world card as well. I'm just going to, okay. So with the eight of cups, I just want to read the message. There's something better waiting. So if you didn't get a job, take it as redirection and not a rejection. Um, because spirit is saying there's something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest so tap into there's a lot of cards with nature so maybe you know if you're wondering being you now i have been looking for work i haven't been able to find work go walk in nature connect with nature you might get some divine downloads that might open up whole new streams of income or new ways of looking at job searches which you might not have thought about two of pentacles it's important to have a balance working multiple jobs or projects at once make making work fun the other thing i feel is like yeah multiple streams of income is ringing true so maybe some someone here is wanting to make that this jump from maybe you have a side hustle you know and you still have your full-time job and um now you're trying getting on the brink of your side hustle is giving you enough income that you don't need to you know and it's requiring more time and effort from you so you don't want to work for another for the other job so this could be this period of you know the next couple of weeks maybe you're still juggling going to be a disconnect and a starting of something new because world card is a completion major completion oh i love this the queen of wands she you know if i think about the aries i have been doing your readings daily since last year so more than 12 months last year this time queen of wands was making so much of uh, appearance in your reads this year it's completely different it's such a different energy and vibe i was just reflecting on how the queen of wands and the king of wands really showed up in the aries collective reads um this time last year but this year the queen of wands showing up in the money read to me aries you don't have to really hustle too much when the queen of wands shows up it's not saying that be lazy what it means is work with your creativity work with your passion the way to make money, the way to get the job is energy. So people will, when you walk in, when the Queen of Wands walks in, all eyes are on her. Not because she's making any noise or there is a drum roll that say, hey, attention, attention, folks, the Queen of Wands is walking through the door. No, that's not what's happening. We wish. <laughs> it's just, there is something about her presence. That's what I was looking for, the word presence. So what is it about you and your presence that makes you magnetic and attractive and that's you know that's the vibe because when you walk in the room people are like who is that what do they do that's how with money career finances be the be in that energy and vibe that people are automatically wanting to come to you learn more about you understand you that's how you're going to get the money the abundance the jobs the business the new clients if you are running your own business and you're an entrepreneur so this is about embodying this is about being. This is why my channel is called Being You Now. When you are in that vibration and energy, you become unstoppable. You become unshakable. That's this vibe of this Queen of Wands. Look at how magnetic and attractive she is. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm just hanging out here. You know, um, so I like this. This is somebody really, you know, maybe maybe now you're making time for your passion, your creativity. And maybe the, you know, you, you are now focusing and aligning your life and your career and your business to more focus on your passions, creativity and um, purpose work as opposed to what you might have been doing before. So this says um, the world card says a happy ending. Yes. Coming full circle. Claim it. Spiritual growth and insight. The Queen of Wands. You can do anything right now. Absolutely, Aries, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Now, we do have these two cards. I just want to draw your attention. There is this real collaboration energy coming through. Although this is not a collaboration card, it is giving that vibe, both of, both of them. So really, you know, accept help. Ask for help and accept help. So, um, yeah, because Spirit is giving you... You know, oftentimes what happens is 
you might think, oh, the spirit is not helping me, but spirit might be helping you through other people. But then it's also up to you to be open to receive that help. Spirit can only bring opportunities to you. Only you can allow them, you can welcome them, and you can work with those energies. So sometimes help comes in a form of a person, in a, in a form of a message, in a form of a email. You know, we are in this digital world. Help comes in different forms. It's about whether or not we want to accept that help. Oh, I love it. The lovers. So with, to me, there is a big, big, big message, particularly if I look at these cards here. Someone here is definitely going to be celebrating um, a business venture, a creative venture, something that they love doing. So this might be you moving, you know, maybe you get a job, which say you are passionate about food. So maybe you get a job in a food industry, you know, maybe you've always wanted to work in the food industry and finally you get that job that's allowing you to work in the food industry. Or maybe you like to work, you know, you are someone who values sustainability and you look after the environment. You work for an organization that has the same values, which, you know, they embody clean products, um, sustainability. So the lover's card in, in a money career context, that's what it means. Or you finally get a job that not only is, say say you're in sales and marketing, not only do you get to do sales and marketing, but you get to do it for a makeup company and you love makeup, for example. So, you know, it's like you, it's not just doing the sales job. It's doing a job for a company that you're passionate about and you love and, and something that interests you, for example, makeup, if that's your thing. You know, so that's kind of the vibe with these three. So congratulations, because sometimes, you know, we, we can't see wood from the trees. And this combination right here, you have earned it. You deserve it. And now you celebrate it. So celebrate. Celebrate this win because you are. And the lover's card also is about partnership. So if you want to um, form partnership, I mean, again, you know, we've got all these cards about collaboration. If you want to partner with someone, this Maybe there are three of you. Partnership could be more than one person. You know, maybe there's three three people partnering in this venture. But with the lover's card, it's like, you know, you both have the same vision. You have the same goal. So lovers in this context is not romance. Or maybe you, you are going into business with your partner who is your romantic partner. That's also possible. Anything is possible. But I love these, um, this, this reading because... You are moving away from what didn't serve you to what is feeling more aligned and makes your heart and soul sing when it comes to your money, career, finance. I mean, we spend so much daylight time working and this is the reason, you know, in this busy world, we want more and more satisfaction. So if we can align that with our values about and with things that matter to us, then it's a win-win situation. So um, the lover's card, make choices from your heart, deep emotional commitments, the power of love. Yeah, really open, open yourself up to that energy and vibration and success will be yours, Aries. Success will be yours. Now, let's see what messages. Oh, why is that? There was one card which was flipped the other way and it's deadline. So maybe that might be a message for somebody. It was really random because all the other cards are fine. It's just this one card. Let's see. I shuffled it, but I'm just guided to shuffle again. I always like to get the energy of the collective. All right. So money and career messages for my gorgeous, glorious Aries. Money and career messages for my gorgeous, glorious Aries for mid-April. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, this one wants to come out. Lots of messages today. Work from home. I love it. Love it. So maybe that's, you know, the other thing is now you are able to work. From, that's what you're celebrating. A job that allows you to give work from home. Be closer to your loved ones. Um, no commuting or very limited commuting. Maybe the furthest you go is from your home to the cafe where you get your coffee. Claim this in comments if this is what you want. I love working from home. Entry level. So this to me is... Somebody, the first vision spirit gave me, I have to go with what spirit gave me. This could this could be for only one person. This is a collective read, not a one-to-one -one read. For a personal read, first link in the description box. This entry level to me is talking about 
um, you are embarking on a brand new career or you're starting your own business. So what Spirit is saying here is celebrate because it, that takes courage. That takes courage and conviction to stand by it and to get in. But entry level at the now, entry level in the now doesn't mean entry level forever. So that's the message. Don't let that, you know, if, if, if you, I don't pick this energy up from this, whoever this is for, but if you are this person, oh, I have to start again. I have to build my career again. Spirit is like entry level now doesn't mean entry level forever. So make that your mantra. Maybe you want to claim it in comments. It's pretty good. Hey, new assets. Wow. I mean, maybe that's what's going on here. You, you're moving houses. You bought a house, new assets. So some, I'm definitely seeing someone buying a new house or um, getting keys to a property. Maybe you're renting. Congratulations. That's exciting. Are you excited? Um, and maybe now you, you get to enjoy your neighborhood and also work from home. Gives you more flexibility. I'm also getting this message now. This is very random that this is the neighborhood for whoever this is. This is the neighbor, neighborhood you've always wanted to live in. So if you're moving in, congratulations. This is so amazing and epic. Um, new assets. Yeah. I'm also picking up something like this is really random and weird. Um, very left field. I'm picking picking this energy of um, a luxury purchase. So new assets. So like, you know, maybe a jewelry or a very expensive designer handbag. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not, you know, each to their own free will. But I'm picking up that someone is someone has made an investment of something they want. They have been longing and wanting to buy. It's almost like a treat. So maybe you bought it for your birthday. Maybe you've always, you've been eyeing this piece of jewelry and you're buying it for yourself for your birthday. Why not? You work hard. You deserve it. Responsibilities. So be careful in the next two to three weeks about how much you take on. Don't take more. This gives me the 10 of wands vibe. So just be careful. If you can delegate, delegate. Okay. So ask for help. Ask for help. That's a big, big message always coming for Aries. What did I say, folks? What did I say? Congratulations. Congratulations. Job offer coming. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Did I not say that? I am like biggest smile on my face. I'm so happy. Get that contract. Sign the, well, do check, do dot your I's and cross your T's. But how exciting. This is just so exciting. I love it. And for somebody here, this could be a job that allows you to work from home too, by the way. So claim whatever blessings, whatever you need in comments. This is epic. This is amazing. Now let's get you some money messages, money messages for my gorgeous, glorious Aries. Now, a lot of you have reached out about money coaching. So I, I have very limited sessions that I open up for money coaching. So if you desire that, just hashtag money. A lot of the times we block our own abundance. So if you're desiring to change that narrative and story, that this is like a total game changer. And if you want to go deep and really pull out everything that's not serving you, then money mind reset, that's only through email. Okay, have to hustle, no. But you must take action towards your goal each day. Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone, everyone thinks that everything's just going to... Um, land on your lap yeah you got you have to take some form of action so your affirmation is i make my dreams real yes you do aries you're a leader change maker mover shaker maverick i make my dreams real claim it so this is release people who only want you for your money oh my gosh trust me this was one i had to work on for a number of years and after i we pulled out all the weeds yep I really needed to pull out the weeds and oh, it was a big lesson. <laughs> so your affirmation is, I am loved for who I am. That's right. I am loved for who I am. Amen. Feeling greedy. You can have what you want in life without feeling guilty. Do you know guilt and shame are one of two of the biggest things that stop people? People may not know this, but... Guilt and shame are two of the biggest things that stop people from uh, attracting abundance, prosperity, and money. So claim, I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of wealth. And the work that I do, I go into that guilt and shame in a very non-invasive, supportive environment. Particularly, this happens in Money Mind Reset. 
and um, we get rid of it. We get rid of it. It's so freeing. Every time people have gone through that process, they're like, why didn't I do this sooner? That's the, that's the number one feedback I get. Why didn't I do that sooner? I'm like, well, you knew. I, I was telling you all along, if you don't do it, what can I say, hey? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, this card flew out. Okay. Before I share these messages, last couple of days left to book a 12 card spread personal reading bespoke spread just for Aries season and then that spread won't be available anymore. It's the first link in the description box. It's a total game changer. So that reading will focus on Aries season from now to Aries season next year. If you're an Aries, I'm an Aries. I like to get readings done for me for my birthday. I get multiple readings. You know, I just, that's just who I am, but I love tarot. So if you want to get guidance insights for your next 12 months, first link in the description box before it disappears. All right. The first card worth. Love it. Look at that. That looks like all the zodiac signs, but it's not. Um, it's actually butterflies. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. I am love. That's your affirmation. I am love. Simple to the point. Trust. Love it. Love it. Lots of butterflies. You might be seeing butterflies, folks. Let me know. Um, we are, yeah, now not so much, but in summer I saw lots of butterflies. Allow me divine. I'm in Australia, by the way, if you didn't know. So we are no longer in summer. So before you say old video, no, this is not old. I'm in Australia and we are in autumn. Allow me divine to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Allow me divine to give you my deepest longings. So this is surrendering. This is working with the universe. This is manifestation. Trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. So trust. I trust fully. Claim that. I trust fully. I trust fully. What an epic powerhouse. Next little while, two to three weeks. I, I, I'm needing more three, three weeks. This reading is good for three weeks, give or take. Mid-April, money, career, finance. Go get that job. Celebrate that job. I mean, we've got some epic cards in here. If you just joined us, go watch the start. There is some epic goodness and news coming your way as it relates to money, career, and finance. And if you want to see more of these reads, if you could just do me a favor, which will take one second of your time and hit that subscribe button. That allows me to continue to bring daily content to you and the collective. And remember Aries, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.